the recent spate of uh, bills being put in by the Pakatan government, the abolishment of debt, lowering of 18 votes, they seem to be trying to push this last 18 days to fulfill their manifestos. Do you see any, that there will be any... The, see, the abolishment of the uh, death sentence, <clears throat> actually the modified the version. You remember on the 10th of October last year, the original intention was to abolish death sentence. I was the first MP who, who objected to this. And I even asked Vicky Liu to form a select committee to study this. Why can't you wait, listen to the stakeholders first? And he refused. He said, Cabinet decided not to consult anybody and no, refer no referendum or any formation of a select committee. He said that. Then the public, uh, even Bar uh, NST, Berita, Harian Online, conducted a survey with 22,000 respondents, of which 82% said, no, you cannot do this. And suddenly, we saw a group of uh, NGOs. They have this uh, signature campaign. And Dr. Ma and myself, we signed. And to date, I think a few hundred thousand have already signed. And after the hoo-ha for about four months, you know, remember? In uh, March this year, they suddenly changed the tone that they may abolish this mandatory death sentence. Yesterday, I saw the uh, Al Jazeera report by uh, VK Liu. It's more dangerous. He said, for the first stage, we abolish this mandatory. Okay, this is only for first first stage. No, later part is to abolish death penalty. I think he has intention to abolish. It's a matter of uh, uh, two phases. They want to do it in two phases. Okay. And you know the intention of the government is to abolish that sentence. And I do not understand what he's talking about. Okay, in some occasion he said, the mandatory uh, death sentence, according to the report, uh, will be replaced by the 30 years imprisonment. Mm. Right? Then, in other occasion, they said, given the, uh, uh, the, the, what do you call, the discretion to the judge to decide. Hey, come on, man. First, you want to replace the mandatory death sentence with 30 years imprisonment, life imprisonment? Or which one? Or you are talking about this uh, mandatory should be should be changed and uh, should give the uh, what they call power uh, this, uh, solely based on the dis discretion of the judge, which is which. And secondly, you must understand, huh? For any, the reason why we impose mandatory death sentence in 1983 during Tan Sri Abdul Talib's time as the uh, AG. From 1975, they first imposed the death penalty. At that time, many judges, they were reluctant to impose death sentence. You know, because discretion was given to the judge. In 1983, Mahade was the one who said we should impose mandatory death sentence. For a simple reason, if we don't impose it as mandatory, especially for the uh, heinous uh, crime, like uh, smuggling of drugs, murder case, the judges will not hang. You know, to hang a person okay, until it is 100%, and you need to prove it beyond reasonable doubts. I repeat, eh? don't simply assume that wrongful punishment and whatnot. Okay? They said there may be possibility. But you see, the first, the first hurdle, the High Court judge, one person. Court of Appeal, you have three judges. Mm. And Federal Court, you have five. That means gone through the due process of nine judges. And again, you can appeal no, to the Sultan or the Yang Diputan Agung. And you have all these processes. I don't see any problem. 
And you must understand the grievances of the victim's family. You know, they take for granted. They ask people to, to, to you know, they say, okay, uh, my son has been detained for 15 years, you know. I cry every day because I need to go to prison. But please highlight the grievances of the victim's family as well. That's why when you said you want to completely abolish death penalty, no go. All right? And you cannot simply assume that the mandatory sentence can be replaced by a fixed life imprisonment. Out of 33 offences punishable uh, 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 under this death sentence, yeah, 11 are considered as 11 offences is mandatory. That means that 11 offences you cannot simply change. You have to study one by one. You must have overall review of each and every section. You must understand. And you think the current legislation is no good, like what we amended in 2017, where you need uh, to get a clearance from the AG and the prosecuting officer or the investigating officer to certify that so-and-so is not the kingpin and uh, he or she has uh, cooperated enough with the police. Okay, That certification, some say that it is open for abuse. Some may ask for money and whatnot. You can tighten the uh, whatever loopholes that you have, you know. But you cannot just simply assume, uh, okay, it's not bad. It's very bad, and we should you should not impose a death sentence. I think there is something that you know we have to be careful. I, we cannot just give uh, the blanket approval for V K Liu, especially his interview with Al Jazeera. I can send it to you all. He said it loud and clear. As the beginning, the first stage, we are going to do away with the mandatory. Hey, when you say that, uh, that means your subsequent move is to abolish. You know that after you remove the mandatory, nobody goes to hang. Then you tell the world, oh, after five years, we notice that nobody hang, even with the uh, uh, 30 years and whatnot. And then you say this is a norm, we should not hang anybody.